the uh, the 88 litter is another litter that uh, had a lot of quality from top to bottom uh, and had some some variants in color here. We had blues and belts uh, in this 88 litter. They're sired by Wildside. Uh, the mother is actually a very good young blue sow. She's a Steel Town provoked dirty secret. Uh, that provoked sow would have had um, the reserve middle at Iowa uh, a couple summers ago for the Opine family. Uh, the grandma sow, the dirty secret sow on the bottom, uh, I think to this day is still the heaviest structured dirty secret uh, sow we would have had, and she was blue, uh, 240-10. She was incredible uh, in her skeletal makeup, and uh, you know you can see that in these pigs uh, still breeding through. Uh, but again, the 88s are wild side, steel town, dirty secret, or sorry, uh, steel town provoked uh, dirty secret here on the pedigree. Yeah, really interesting pig here. I mean, this uh, this target right there in his belt's awfully, awfully eye-catching to say the least. And then, you know, to be honest with you, as this thing turns and comes at you, I'm not sure if we'll get that clip on camera the best, but um, that that is absolutely intimidating as, as, as you can make one. I mean, that's a square-footed and, and big-chested and powerful up front. Um, as it comes and on top of that I mean I love his face and I love his skull again shoulder and top line up high is built exactly correct and like Jesse said I mean that is a heavy heavy boned animal um, with incredible foot strength um, and obviously I mean if uh, if you can't tell I mean this one is a crip and he looks like the ones um, nine times out of ten that by the time you get that nut out of his belly um, everything's going to soften and chub the right way and you're going to be real real happy with your purchase here um, you know predicting wise you know where this one hits and fins you know or uh, fits and ends you know I, I, I really don't know the best answer there um, he's got some size um, you know I, I tell you he's that classic September kind of window to, to me um, just the way he's built and the, the amount of power and, and just uh, spread that he's got up front um, he's definitely not one that's a heavy heavy feeding one but I again he's got some size and he's got some age and I think can be very very um, you know I think you can be pretty crafty on, on where you show him um, and, and how you manage him. And, you know, again, outside of endpoint, um, this one's extra bone, his skeletal correctness, and his look up front is going to carry him a long way. So I think a very neat pig here in this dash one.